here again today from AllAboutStencils.com and designs from Penny.com. And what we're working on today is stenciling wall borders. And what we'll be using is this grapevine stencil. Um, and again, these are free on AllAboutStencils.com. So, and we'll be doing that right here along this border above the backsplash. Uh, this is a client that uh, likes to store their wine in this area. So we decided to do a grapevine stencil right across here for their display. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, like I said, we're working with this free stencil from allaboutstencils.com. And actually what I did was I printed two of them because I want to alternate them. I'm going to have one, uh, and as you can see, the, the vine kind of goes down like this, and it, it points out. So we have another one that's going to go this way. So I'm alternating. I printed two of them, and the reason I did that is I like to put a clear cover over them. I use a uh, clear shelf liner and put that on before you cut your stencil out. It makes your stencil permanent. You can use it again and again. In fact, you can see this one, I actually washed it off. Um, this is the right side of it. Since we're alternating, I wrote top side on this one, or back side over here, so I could remember where I put my clear coating. Um, anyway, that was just a quick tip. We're also, since we're alternating and we're going along a border, we want to keep them in um, the same level. So I designed this stencil with registration points. As you can see, it has little triangles in the four corners. And when I painted the last, the last stencil, I, I penciled in the registration marks, the little alignment marks. And you can see the little triangles. I hope you can see the little triangles right here. Now, what I did, instead of putting that on the wall, I went ahead and I put a little bitty piece of masking tape behind the registration triangle. And I put that on there so we could peel those off when we're finished. Okay, so now this is where the last two were on this side of this pattern. We're going to take our next pattern, this rotation, and line it up with those registration marks from the last side of the other one. Get it lined up, and then we'll take that in place. That way we know that each design is the same distance apart. Now, the thing about using registration marks is you want to make sure that your tape is just behind that small triangle. You don't want to get behind any of your stencil because then you'll be stenciling onto the piece of tape. Um, so that's just something to watch out for. And we're going to start stenciling. I have uh, some different colors out here, and I'll talk to you about those as I go. But let's just start stenciling. Um, and again, stenciling always a dry brush technique. And I like to tap my brush out on the palette as I'm going. You always want to tap up and down. And you can see I kind of went out a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to come back with the green and make the leaves for this and fix that up. So always up and down. You don't want to brush back and forth into your stencil. That will push paint underneath the bridges, uh, the parts that hold together. And that would smear your image. You don't want to do that. Um, now the colors I'm using, I like to put several different colors on a palette and that just gives variety to your painting. Um, and I use a little bit of the three colors I'm using for the grapes are called Wine, Magenta, and Crimson. Um, and that's just three colors that give, give it a little more depth to it. Um, for the greenery, I'm using Olive Green and I have here a Forest Moss. And again, that's not very dry. Okay. And I have some colors for the brown. is called Golden uh, golden Brown and Nutmeg. And you'll see how I use those in a minute. Kind of just for the leaves and the stems, I'm just kind of moving them around a little bit. And, putting green and brown throughout. You'll see how that works. It gives it a nice variety to it. There's a little dark green in there. And again, just keep tapping it on. Up and down, up and down. 
And I'm doing this fast. You want to take your time with a little bit more than what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, kind of, I have to hurry with the video, but you can take your time. And again, this is a free stencil at allaboutstencils.com. You can print it right from your computer. And uh, if you preserve it, like I told you, you'll have it to do again and again. Especially when you're working with a border like this. You're going to use that stencil several times. So you definitely want to have it preserved. You don't want to have to cut this thing out again and again and again. And uh, when I design them, I try and make them easy so that there's not a lot to cut out. But still, you don't want to have to do that. Um, and actually, if you start using stencils like this, you'll you'll get used to doing that to all of them. It's a, it's a great idea. Uh, I have a huge folder now <laughs> of the stencils that I've saved. And it comes out good. Okay, now we're ready to peel back. I'm going to peel back carefully, and there is our design. And we have our registration marks. What we would do is we would come back with the next one and line it up right there. Of course, you want to wait till this dries a little bit. But and you keep moving on till you have your whole design done. Before we go anywhere, I wanted to show you something about customizing and making your stencils look like a hand-painted Im image. Um, one thing I like to do is take a small, uh, thin paint brush just like this and run it through a couple of the different colors, the dark greens, the light greens, even the browns. And I'm running them through the leaves like this. Just giving it some different colors. And the light brown works really good for this. As you can see. You're kind of giving it a personal touch. It's going to come out, each leaf is going to come out different, just like leaves normally do. And that's something you can do with the leaves. See, I can do that with it. Okay, again, this is just real quick. Um, and on your grapes, you may want to take, they're made with, they're painted mostly the dark color came out. But you could take this magenta and give them a little highlight. Each one of them, just like that. And again, I'm moving kind of quick. You could take your time with it. Make each one a Give it a little highlight as if light's shining on it. Um, and, of course, you can come back to here. And, of course, I, I did this quick so you can see I kind of messed up a little bit. It's out of its border a little bit. So you can just come back with your thin paintbrush and fix that. First comes to worst, you can go back with your background color and clean it up. Whatever you want to do with it. Anyway. That's just some different hints to make it your own personal masterpiece. As you see, I have now this design up there in my border, and um, I've even done some highlights and some touch-ups to them, made, give some more dimension to the leaves with different colors, and uh, this is stenciling wall border using the free grapevine stencil at allaboutstencils.com. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you give it a try. It was a lot of fun, and I think we have some pretty good results. Anyway, thanks for coming by. See you next time. Bye.